Hello and welcome back to my channel. Happy Easter, Happy Passover, Happy Spring or whatever else you may celebrate. This video here is about um, the things you can do while spring is in full swing and early summer. I picked a nice area as you can see here which is called University Circle. University Circle is famous for all the cultural um, things that it has to offer. So there are many churches, there are um, museums, uh, also the Museum of Art, where I've already uh, made a whole episode about it. Uh, there is the um, Natural Museum of History, uh, the Severance Hall, and also you can see it here, the universities are located in, in well, the university circle, obviously. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see a couple of these spots. I will not walk in them in this video. It's really just a little overview of all the things you can um, do when you are in this area. So it's really beautiful. We had like 60 degrees today, maybe a little less, but the sun was out and it really felt warm and cozy. Um, the flowers and trees are blooming and it's a perfect time to go out there for a walk. Now on the right hand side you can see one of the most beautiful buildings, especially if you walk inside. Uh, this is Severance Hall and this is a great place if you like classic music or in general they do concerts in there. Um, various kind of things so pretty much for everybody's taste definitely check this place out it's also a great um, idea to visit Severance Hall during winter when you have to stay inside anyway this is one of the best cultural places Cleveland has to offer in fact the Cleveland Orchestra is globally renowned and is one of the best orchestras in the world so check it out Right across the lake you can see the Methodist Church and here to the left side the Amasa Stone Chapel. Um, the church you've seen early at the very beginning of the video was the Church of the Covenant. Um, and then there are at least a couple of others um, right around this area here, like the Pentecostal Church of Christ and um, the Baptist Church. So if you are into churches, you should have quite something to do in this area. So if you cross the street from Severance Hall, you end up at Wade Lagoon and uh, this little pond or lake at the very end is the home of the Cleveland Museum of Art. You can see it here. It's the bright white building at the very end of the lake and uh, the whole area is uh, a great park and you can imagine all these trees here. They are not quite ready yet. Um, we have April 9, 2023. So I would say two, three weeks from now, everything will be um, full of flowers and colors. And it's a great place then to um, do some photo shoots or just enjoy the beauty of nature. Just a few car minutes away is Lakeview Cemetery and this is the second part of this video and I felt it was not appropriate to do film work at the cemetery um, just with respect to the people who found rest um, and all the um, ones that are mourning or um, commemorating their loved ones so I decided to take photos of scenes that show the beauty of this place it's definitely an interesting contrast between life and death, especially in spring when everything awakes back to life while at the same time you're at a cemetery. A few highlights of this cemetery, if that's the right uh, description for a place like this, is number one, the big field of daffodils, which are right now in um, full bloom. So uh, best time to visit is actually uh, here early April, uh, maybe second or third week of April. Um, another really nice area is the Wade Memorial Chapel and the adjacent pond as well as the um, larger tombs that are right around that area. 
Um, a very famous statue is the Hazarod Angel, um, which you will also see in this photo collection. And then there is the Garfield Memorial, which um, literally stands out because it's so large and um, it's a huge tower. So um, you definitely want to pay that one a visit. James Garfield was a president of the United States. Um, to be exact, he was the 20th um, US president and um, he uh, was assassinated in 1881 and uh, eventually buried here in Cleveland. And come May, you can also visit the monument from inside. Right now it's still closed for the season. As a little extra challenge, I decided to only take one lens with me for this um, tour. So I only had my RF 100mm, which is a macro lens and also a great portrait lens. Um, it's a little not so ideal, honestly, on a cemetery where you have some larger objects like statues that you would like to um, get into the frame. So I had to be a little bit creative. Um, on the other hand, I felt it's an interesting choice um, to take some pictures that are a little less usual and not just um, the typical um, 35, 50 millimeter kind of shots that you would expect from a place like this. So um, enjoy this tour, enjoy the photos, enjoy the music. Um, I thought I would like to just leave it at this for today. I hope you all enjoyed this little spring trip with me. Uh, leave some comments about what's your favorite spot or if I should go in any of these places in greater detail in a separate video. I will happily do so and wish you all a wonderful day. Goodbye and see you all soon.